Commissioner Tim Wilshire with a 20... 21-22 season TRSB update round six. Got my new Tyson Fury shirt looking really, really good. So let's have a look at what the news is. Let's have a look. We've got so let's have a look at the after six games. <clears throat> Hurricanes uh, signed Paddy Mills. Who cares? Hurricanes waved beyond. Dwayne Dedman, the undertaker, got waived. So let's have a look and see what is going on here with the undertaker. Um, Dwayne Dedman. You're fired. Yes. So the undertaker fired. RJ Barrett scoring a career high 48 fantasy points. The Butchers have won five in a row. Um, Tampa Bay. Tampa Bay this season was a whirlwind. Evan Mobley with a career high 34 fantasy points. You don't like a bucket of soup. You need super cuts and the shade. Low bumper playing fantastic career high 37. Lions waved Demarcus Cousins. Demarcus Cousins shouldn't have been on a roster to begin with. Demarcus Cousins. You. You're fired. Yes. So Fred Van Vliet with an extension, four point two million a year, I think it was. I think Fred. The difference between me and you, you dress right. You dress nice. I don't dress. I do art. Let's have a look at the standings. The Boers five and one. The Butchers also five and one. So are they competing for the top of the league. Cows four and two. Hounds three and three with a better percentage. The Lions two oh four, three and three. Predators, Nerds, and the Jaguars on the bottom. Unfortunately, the Barbs and the Saints both five and one each, looking to, to basically pull away from the pack. Surprisingly, the Tigers are third. Flyers and the dub-dubs in losing situations early in the season. So that's the ladder at the present time. We've got the Lions versus the dub-dubs. Um, reasonably close game. Let's have a look at the results for this one. Get it on internet. Why is it fucking slow? Here we go. So 209 to 183. AD with 29. He's playing okay, but the guy that's playing above everybody else is a guy by the name of DeMar DeRozan or Zeus. <laughs> so well-rounded report performance from the rest of the guys. Um, the double doubles, Luka Doncic with 40 fantasy points. He should uh, be getting better. A good game from JV, who's uh, really having a good season so far, probably in the top 20 at the moment. Milton looking great, 30 fantasy points, but they still lost, unfortunately, for the double doubles. Now, this is uh, obviously a game between the Jaguars and the Nerds. Very close, but the difference was the return of um, form from James Harden. He was the difference in this one with 44 fantasy points. He had a big, shiny, fancy fucking four-wheel drive, but he doesn't know how to change the tire. Harden the fuck up, Anthony. Yeah, the Jaguars... Um, 35 from Kyle Kuzma, 33 from CJ McCollum, 27 from Rudy Gobert. They're the big three at the present time. The bench needs to step up a little bit. Um, LeBron James, 34. Harrell with 34. So um, really good window there for Dan. If we go to the third game, the Predators beat the Hounds, which was a surprising win uh, for the Predators, to be honest. Uh, but the reason for that 
is Paul George has probably been one of the best five players in the TRSBA. 48 fantasy points for him, also for Beal. Forty-eight for uh, Beal, thirty-six for Levine, Nurkic twenty-seven. Josh Giddy scored a career high twenty fantasy points. Uh, he's looking a bit. I'm sure he's had better games than that too, but uh, they are coming. Uh, Harris, Barnes, Sexton. Uh, it's a struggle on some of these guys. Sexton only fourteen fantasy points. Thirty-seven though for Mo Bumba, as we said before. Um, some really good games there <clears throat> from. Some of those players. So, Barnsley looking really, really good. On to the fourth game, the Boars and the Cows. An easy win for the Boars. I looked looked great as usual. Look at that. The top six players all with 32 to 37 fantasy points. Very consistent. What a consistent range. Um, we'll play um, KD. He's been probably, he's been really good. Okay, so then we've uh, the Brown Cows, who are their best performers. Rashawn Holmes looked pretty good. Uh, Jalen Brown, 41, having a good year. RJ Barrett with a career high, 48. Probably need a sound drop for RJ, but that'll come. Kimber Walker, 29 fantasy points there. Tigers versus the Pens. Shit score for the Pens. The Tigers, San Francisco, surprisingly third in the West. <laughs> So look who did well. Sabonis, 30. Scotty Barnes, 33. He was their best player on the day. Wendell Carter, 30. 25 from Halliburton. I think Halliburton's uh, very good there too. Uh, he could start soon. Penguins, no one really to talk about there. Keldon Johnson was 27. Their best player, uh, Mustang Sally. Mustang Sally! Flyers, we've got a win from the Butchers, 237-187, a fairly easy win, despite the Joker getting a huge 49 fantasy points for Nikola Jokic. But not much help. Dinwiddie with 33 fantasy points. The Butchers have won five in a row. They've won eight in a row against the Flyers. That's a big rivalry that's going in their direction. Um, look at this team though Towns, Wood Miles Bridges, Jimmy Butler and Dijon De Murray all five of those guys are in the top 30 right now so that's absolutely fantastic and don't forget Clint Capella 24 fantasy points um, Towns is just uh, he's, he's, he's at another level this guy he really knows how to play I'm a scat man He's uh, great. So on to where we're up to here. We've got a couple of games to go. We've got the Saints versus the Hurricanes. An easy win there for Dennis and the Utah Saints. Thirty-four from Evan Moveley starting at centre. Not sure what happened to. Uh, Eight and had the game off. And Anubi, 22, SGA, 20. Morant is a normal game. A pretty piss poor game there for Trey Young, but it didn't cost them. Maga Porter, 22. Tyler Hero playing really well, 30. Hurricanes, not much to talk about there. Lamarcus Aldridge, when he's the best player on your team and signed off the free agent list, 30 fantasy points, you know, you're up shit creek. So on to the next second, the last game, we've got the Barbarians, Death Valley. Um, they are in cruise control early in the season. The, the only thing that they'll be worried about, and we'll talk about it in a minute, but um, um, they will certainly be worried about a couple of their players on their team. So they won 13 in a row against the Snipers. The Snipers are off 13 in a row generally. They're obviously trying to get that number one pick again. Uh, Draymond Green starting at centre, that was interesting. 
Um, Al Horford starting, so the, the veterans starting at power forward and centre, that is something you don't see every day. Tatum had a good one here, 44 fantasy points, but has struggled in, in lots of areas. Apart from this game, Lillard is struggling. Uh, Curry, 30 fantasy points. Van Vliet, we've spoken about. Uh, he got re-signed. Lowry, fitting in okay, 27 fantasy points. Jordan Poole in the rotation. Uh, Maxi out of the rotation. Uh, Bog, I think it's Bogdan Bogdanovich also in the rotation for now. Adebayo missed the game, which is, uh, and I think it was only one game, hopefully. The Snipers, um, Anthony Edwards, 33 fantasy points. Um, yeah, he's he's uh, their best player from what I can see at the moment. Maybe Jared Allen's had his moments as well. So that's the wrap up of the games. I just think if there was any other trades I may have missed that we didn't talk about. Let's just have a look. I thought there may have been one. I thought there may have been a, a trade. Let's just have a look. I'm sure there was a trade. News. Let's see if there's anything popping up there. The Red Devils actually signed Miles Turner to extension and also LeBron James. So LeBron did get signed to an extension for from Dan. So he signed as was Miles Turner. See if it was I thought there was might have been another trade. Maybe there wasn't. Okay. Not to worry, that's it for this particular round. Look forward to keeping on top of things going forward. That's been another edition of the TRSBA Roundup. Thank you. Bye.